Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to show you how to make this custom page loader using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. It's actually quite straightforward and it works like this. If I refresh this page here, we get a full white background, a loading GIF. When the page is done loading, it fades out and now the page is fully usable. And these images here are quite a large file size which is why I chose them for this example. Let's see how it actually works. So, inside your code editor here, you want to first have some images or some content to load, you know, behind the scenes. So, I've got these images here, image one, image two, and image three. I'm going to import these right now. So I'm going to say, a new image, right, give it a source of image one.jpg, and a class of thumb. Do the same thing for these other two. All right. Here is our content. Okay. So I'm also just going to target the thumb class and add some quick styles to it. So I'm going to say dot thumb. Give it a a height of 100 pixels, a border of one pixel solid and then a black, and a margin of let's just say 10 pixels. So I'll save this one go in the browser and then refresh, we'll see how we go. Alright, perfect. So now for the actual loader part. So, we can represent this loader on the screen by using a div class. So in the body, I'm going to make a new div, alright, and give it a class of loader. Now inside this div, I'm going to add that loading gif inside it. It's right here, loading.gif. So I'm just going to say image source loading dot gif and give it some alt text of loading and then dot dot dot. All right. If I save this one, go in the browser, refresh, we should see that loading gif on top. All right. But we want obviously that right there. So to achieve that, we need to first start by working on the loader class. So in your CSS, make a new rule for loader. All right. Now, the position property for this loader will be fixed. That way, it can be on top of everything else. And when you when you scroll down, the actual loader won't move as you scroll down. All right. Also, give it a Z index of 99 to ensure it's on top of everything else. All right. So with these two properties here, the loader is now on top of everything else and it's not going to scroll down as you scroll down with the mouse. So from here, we're going to say top zero and left zero. This makes sure the loader is starting, the starting position of it is going to be in the top left corner of the window. Now for the width and height of this loader, I'm going to say 100%. And 100% for the height also. That way it's full width and full height. Alright. Now for the background colour. For now, we're going to make it red. To see how it looks. So I'll save this one. Go in the browser. Refresh. And we see this big red box. Now for the loading GIF. We're going to make it centred. To do this, we can use the Flexbox display on this loader. So we'll say display and then flex. We'll save this one, refresh, and we get this right here. So to center this, we can use the justify content property, and this will center it um, horizontally. To center it vertically, we use the align items property, and make that center also. If I save this one, refresh, we should, we, we should see that right there. I'm also just going to add some width to this um, loader to make it a bit smaller. So I'm just going to say, sorry, this um, this GIF, make it small. We'll say um, loader and then image. I'm going to say width of 100 pixels. Also make this background white to match the background of this GIF here. I save this one, go in the browser, refresh, we get the desired, sorry, the desired effects. All right. So to make it actually fade away, we can use a keyframes animation. We can define this one down here. 
So we'll say keyframes. We'll call this one fade out. Now by default in this loader, the um, the opacity and the visibility CSS properties are going to be one and visible respectively. So for this keyframes animation, we're simply just going to say at a hundred percent we want the opacity to be zero and the visibility to be hidden. So by default, at 0% behind the scenes, it's one and visible. We're saying 100% make it not visible here, opacity, and also visibility hidden. And that will actually hide the image itself or the, the div loader itself. Now, to actually make that animation happen, we can add a new class to this loader class. So we're going to say loader dot hidden all right animation fade out it'll take one second okay also we're going to use the animation fill mode property here and give it the value of forwards and that right there make sure that once this animation is done these two properties stick and maintain themselves okay so now, using JavaScript here, we're going to apply the hidden class to this loader when the page loads. All right. But for now, let's just give this loader here the class hidden to see the actual effect. So I'll save this one, go in the browser, refresh, and we get this right here. It fades out straight away because there's no actual JavaScript here yet. So. There we are. For the JavaScript part, make this back to just simply loader. Okay. For the JavaScript, we can add a simple event listener. So we'll say window dot add event listener. On the load event, we want to run this function. All right. This function here is going to first get a reference to the loader div. So we can define a new constant down here. We'll say const loader equal to document dot query selector and pass in the dot loader class. And that gives us the loader elements. If I log out loader here, we'll see how we go. I'll save this, go in the browser, refresh, and just open the console real quick. We get loader right there. We'll try again. It's a bit of a delay here, right? Or maybe, I don't know. But it's right there, okay? So with this now, we can simply just say loader, okay? Dots, um, class name, all right? Then plus equals hidden, all right? So we're getting the class name, which is currently just something like loader, all right? And we're adding hidden to that loader. So the class will be eventually, class is going to be uh, loader and then hidden. So that right there will make this animation kick into play. Okay. Now I'll save this one, go in the browser, refresh. All right. Okay. What happened there? I believe the. Ah, okay, put a space right there. Rookie mistake. All right, save this one. Try again. There we are. Now it was quite quick. Inside your Chrome tools, go to Network, and you want to select obviously just firstly disable your cache so it actually has to force reload everything, and also you can even make the throttle to fast 3G, and that'll make the images load even slower. So if we try again, we should see the desired effect. We'll refresh, right, boom, there we are, perfect. And that is how you can make your own custom page loader using pure HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.